Okay, so continuing on, uh, we are working on this problem in the with the hypergeometric distribution, and I've said let's label all of the white and black marbles with numbers now, so that we can understand the outcomes a little bit more easily here. And we're now asking uh, what we want to work out what the probability that big X is equal to little x is, and basically that's going to be equal to the probability of this inverse image, this pre-image of X in the original probability space but this pre-image is made up of lots of different outcomes it's a set containing lots of possible different outcomes in it uh, where all of these outcomes had uh, had little x white marbles you chose little x white marbles so in this case obviously you chose three little white marbles here one two and w are all white marbles w plus b however is a black marble okay uh, so um, basically what we can do is split this up into a disjoint union of the sets containing all those single outcomes. So I'll just put a set containing a single outcome where S is an element of this set, basically, is what I'm taking this union over. So this is equal to the probability of this union, this disjoint union of these um, individual um, uh, these sets containing individual outcomes where S is an element of this set X inverse of X. So we've done this many times before. What we're saying is if we want to work out the probability of this entire event, we can set this event is made up of lots of different outcomes. Because it's a finite probability space, put all of those outcomes into a set by themselves. They are a uh, they are then an event. Uh, this set is made up of the union of all of those disjoint of all of those disjoint singleton sets uh, and uh, the probability of those singleton Singleton sets is non-zero in this case because it's a finite probability space. Okay, and then by the second axiom of probability, this is just equal to the sum. Um, the sum over every outcome is in the event, uh, is in the pre-image of this little um, little um, x. Uh, and then it's just the probability of the singleton outcome. So basically what I'm saying is we've got lots of outcomes in here. The probability of overall getting this, uh, this uh, of this event happening, which is the event that uh, you pick out uh, little x white balls, is just the probability of all the different outcomes added together, basically. Okay, uh, so, uh, th but the great thing is that the probability of each one of these individual outcomes is utterly identical because it, the, your each ball we're assuming is equally likely to be picked out of the bag. So each ball from 1 to W plus B is equally likely to be picked out of the bag. So each outcome in this probability space is equally likely and it's equal and the probability of single outcome, so this probability of S is equal to 1 over the total number of outcomes in here because all of them have to overall add up to um, to 1. So uh, if you've got uh, the, the probability of a singleton just has to be 1 divided by the total number you have and we've agreed that the total number I have is W plus B choose N. So we're going to get that the probability of a singleton is W plus B choose N. So if I want to work out what this sum is, all it actually becomes is because this is a constant I can pull it out so it just becomes this value 1 over uh, w plus b choose n times however many outcomes there are in there so I've just put the size the modulus if you like of this set how big is this set the cardinality of this set okay uh, so we need to work out how many outcomes are there in this set I how many outcomes how many possible outcomes are there uh, where you uh, where you select x uh, little x uh, white marbles and then n minus little x black marbles. Okay, so that becomes our next question. So, uh, if you uh, pick out marbles, what we're saying is now you have to pick out you have to pick out x little x white marbles. Okay, but remember something, remember something the out, the order of these, of the, uh, in which you pick, uh, in Remember what this probability space is. This probability space contains every possible way of selecting n numbers from the selection of numbers, which is 1, 2, 3, all the way up to w, and then w plus 1, all the way up to w plus b. This is asking, this is saying, you pick n numbers from here, and I do not care what order you take them in. The way in which these outcomes are different is that you have actually selected different numbers. So, if you are in this outcome, it means you have selected x little white marbles. So, uh, the only uh, that means that you have, in here, you have 
uh, little x uh, n mark numbers. You've selected little x numbers from within here. And order does not matter. So how many different ways are there of getting little x numbers from this selection of numbers? Well, that is w choose x. The, me the reason is we have x numbers to fill. So let's put x spaces here. So this is x spaces. I can put w of these numbers here. So I can put w possibilities there. I can then put w minus 1 possibilities there, w minus 2, etc., all the way down to w minus x minus 1, okay? Uh, so that's uh, basically what I'm saying is I've got w numbers to choose from. I have to choose x of them. I can put w in this slot, w minus 1 in this slot, w minus 2 in this slot, because I've already used, uh, by the time I get here, I've already used 2, so it goes down and down, etc., okay? But that's going to overcount because that's going to take account of order. And I don't care about the order in which them. I only care about how many different ways there are of selecting X numbers from W numbers. I do not care that 1 and 2, uh, choosing 1 and 2 is different from choosing 2 and 1. It does, isn't different as far as I'm concerned. So we then need to divide this by X factorial. And that is exactly what W choose X is. Okay, so this gives us the number of ways of choosing X white marbles from here. Now, for every choice of X white marbles from here, you have every possible way in which you can choose N minus X uh, black marbles from this selection of B uh, numbers over here. So you have uh, the numbers W plus 1 all the way up to W plus B, and there are B numbers there, and you have to select, select, n minus, oh dear, sorry, it's gone out of view. You have to select n minus x of those. So how many different ways are there to choose uh, n minus x numbers from these b numbers where I don't care what order you pick them in? All I care is what numbers have you picked. And again, it's, do, it's sorry, it's b choose n minus x, basically. Uh, the reason being that I can put B different numbers in the first position, then for every possible number there, I can put B minus 1 different numbers here, uh, etc. And I can go all the way down to uh, B minus, in this case, N minus X minus 1, which is the number I'm choosing, N minus X. But the problem with that is, again, you've overcounted because you are counting uh, choosing 1 and then choosing 2 as different from choosing 2 and choosing 1 uh, because you could let this one be equal to 1 and then in this B minus 1 possibilities here, you'll have 2 somewhere and also B could be equal to 2 and in this B minus 1 possibilities for the uh, for you've selected two here, you'll have one. So this will take account of the different orderings. So to take account of that, you need to divide it by uh, n minus x factorial, which is the way uh, of uh, what the number of ways of uh, permuting. So if you fix the numbers you've picked, so if you say I've picked a certain uh, com a certain bunch of numbers. So say I've picked one, two. Uh, sorry, I should put them. Uh, should use my original notation. So say I've picked w plus 1, w plus 4, and w plus b. Say uh, we're only picking three numbers. Then, uh, basically, this will take account of all possible ways of re uh, rearranging those. So it will take account of w plus 2, w plus b, w plus 1, uh, plus b, etc. And there are six possible permutations of this. So, uh, we need to divide through by the total number of permutations of these fixed numbers. So I've now chosen my fixed numbers and I want to know how many different ways are there of permuting them all around, i.e. rearranging them. And that's just n minus x factorial because you can put n minus x things here, n minus x minus 1 things here because the total number of things you've got is n minus x. So in the first position you could put n minus x different things, then n minus x minus 1 in the second position and so on. So you need to divide by n minus x factorial. So basically the number of ways of picking x white marbles is equal to w choose x. Now for every single possible way of choosing that specific uh, specific combination of x white marbles, you can choose any possible combination of the black marbles as well, and that will give you a different outcome. So this is the total number of outcomes in which you choose x white marbles, because for every possibility, uh, so basically what you have to do is you have to pick x marbles from here, and from these, uh, from this 1, 2, 3 to w white marbles, and then you have to pick 
n minus x uh, black marbles from this w plus 1 to w plus b. But basically, there are loads of different ways to do this, which is w choose x, and there are loads of different ways to do this, which is b times uh, b choose n minus x. And basically, the total number of ways of choosing uh, x marbles from here and n minus x marbles from here is this one times every possibility here. So, uh, the total number of outcomes, basically, in this, in this pre-image of little x, so the size of the pre-image of little x is equal to w choose x times uh, b choose m minus x. So if I get some new pa a new piece of paper, basically uh, the uh, probability mass function for the um, for the um, hypergeometric distribution is given by uh, w choose x divided by uh, times uh, b choose n minus x, so that's the number the number of possible ways of that's the number of possible outcomes in which you uh, pick x white marbles basically, and divided that by uh, the number of the total number of possible outcomes you can get, which is you've got w plus n marbles and you're choosing n of them. So that is the probability mass function for a hypergeometrically distributed random variable. So if x is hypergeometrically distributed uh, with parameters w, uh, b, and n. Okay, so that was a bit of a reminder of the hypergeometric distribution. In the next video, what we'll do is uh, we'll discuss uh, how to calculate the variance of a hypergeometric distribution.